A feel good breakfast show. This is the Express. And now, by now, everyone is preparing for the holidays with dinner parties and lunch get togethers with family and with friends. Well, New Year's Eve is also around the corner, and we have to get our art director, Matana Katz, in studio to show us how to do a beautiful table and to get some inspiration. Matana, good morning. Good morning, Alana. This is beautiful, and I must say, I've been moving things around just to see what you've <laughs> been using this morning. But tell me about your New Year's Eve table. Okay, so I think this is a really great idea to incorporate for a last minute Christmas table or your New Year's table. Um, it's very kind of modern and sophisticated take on the whole idea of putting a table together um, and what I always love is to encourage people to go into their gardens. So as you can see we've created a really beautiful centerpiece so don't be afraid to go and just like literally cut big bushes full of branches, plants, whatever you can find in your garden and create a beautiful kind of rustic table setting. Um, candelabra always are beautiful to kind of set the tone and the atmosphere. Always make sure and remember that your candles are not centered though because you don't want it to compete with your food. Ah. Um, and then kind of place them along a centerpiece. Here I just kind of cut and um, kind of s would stick together some copper piping to create beautiful kind of simple candelabra, but you can really use whatever you have at home. Um, I like to always stick with a nice clean white tablecloth as a base. Um, and then look at your crockery maybe that's a little bit like, you know, wonky wear or something that's a little bit alternative to your average kind of white dinner set. Um, and then kind of play with the colors. So you've got some grays coming in, which keeps it very beautiful and sophisticated. Um, it's, you know, the beautiful crockery from Woolworths um, and the glassware as well. Also, they kind of tint a little bit dark, so they kind of match up with the crockery, once again, from Woolies. Um, and then, uh, you know, beautiful linen napkins to kind of put along, so you can set it the way that you want. Incorporate the branches on each table setting. Um, and then I always think a really nice kind of statement wow factor kind of piece is to hang a branch from the ceiling if you can. Um, it Safely. Safely. <laughs> Be very careful, yes. get help, um, and, and hang it from the ceiling because when you are sitting down um, with your table, it really helps create this kind of just you completely involved in this whole kind of Christmas and New Year's and festive time and season. And I love how the nature nature's kind of incorporated everywhere in little bits in between it. So it really works well. I couldn't help but point out that the candelabra that's on the table, Matana actually made them. I remember yeah. them. We, we made them on the show. So it's stuff that you can get from your local hardware store and exactly. just make it easily. And I like the fact that you said don't get scented candles for the table because yes. if you're going to do a beautiful turkey or even a chicken, you, you want to smell that. But everything is from your garden. I mean, I looked at this table, it's what I have at home, like in the study, and you just exactly. cover it with a, with a linen cloth and it makes exactly. it look beautiful. Exactly. You know, keeping trittle tables and fold-up chairs are always such a good idea, especially for the festive season, mm. because if you have last-minute guests and family come over, oh, we have you that can all just the time. pull it out <laughs> and just cover it up. So you can't see that it's, mm. you know, a trittle table. You, it just becomes this beautiful table setting. Wow. It looks beautiful, but as you said, a, a normal trestle table that you just decorate. And, exactly. And is there any last tips that you can give us? Because, I mean, I initially thought this was rosemary until I got closer yeah. and I, I, I had a smell on it. Rosemary would work just as well. I yeah. mean, it's really up to you. It's about your kind of creative feeling towards it. Um, I just think go, go whatever you feel is best. I mean, for me, I just particularly had these kind of bushes and shrubs in my garden, so that's what I used. But for every person, it would be different. Rosemary would be beautiful. And then, I don't know if you remember, a little while ago, we kind of made the rosemary wreath. Yes. Also a lovely touch to kind of wear with this kind of table, which I think would work lovely. Um, and then keeping it simple. I mean, I love this as kind of like a rustic and modern take. Um, you know, don't over clutter. There's going to be so much going on when everyone's sitting down and there's kids and there's food everywhere and you're eating and sharing and, you know, so try to keep the table as simple and neat as possible, but still it can look beautiful. Well, it's beautiful and while we are having such a tranquil moment here, making sure that we get our New Year's Eve table ready, thank you, Matana. Thank you. There's also a lot of madness in our studio. In fact, we made a lot of winners on our show and I, I want to know what they want. Guys, what up?